Hello friends, welcome to my kitchen again. Today I'm going to show you how to make seashell macarons. Are you ready? And to make the seashell macarons, I didn't color my meringue, I just added my dry ingredients and I'm mixing right now. I'm gonna transfer some of the macaronage to another mixing bowl as I wanna color that. And this part of macaronage I'm leaving without any color. I want that white, kind of sandy look for my macaron shells. I'm going to leave for a few seconds and I'm going to color this part of macaronage. Since I didn't have proper color, I decided to add some cocoa powder for this. About tablespoon. I'm gonna mix it. Since amount of macaronage very small, you can add more or less, depends on the color you wanna get. But something between one teaspoon and one tablespoon is good. spatula I personally love this color this is my favorite no food coloring just a little bit of cocoa powder and look kind of sand look I'm gonna go back to my white macaronage. Make sure you grab everything from the bottom. Just a little bit more. flows like lava and this is good. Now we're going to transfer to the piping bag. The one piping bag I prepared is just regular Wilton round tip. It's Wilton 12. As I'm going to transfer my macaronage to the piping bag, I'm going to kind of mix those two colors. This white one, I'm going to put like on one side of the piping bag. And then I'm going to add this colored macaronage on another side of the bag. And I'm gonna add more white. And I'm doing this just to show colors. This 
how it is. And then I have another piping bag with Wilton 4B. I'm gonna transfer the rest, my macaronage there. use the same spatula Just gonna put it on another side of the piping bag and when you're gonna pipe shell the colors will mix and give beautiful beautiful seashell color Make sure you clear spatula. My two bags. To pipe seashell macarons, I'm gonna be using this template that I made it. You can find on my blog, it's free. You can download, print it and use it. So I'm gonna place it under baking mat and I'm gonna be piping. I'm gonna be starting with the round piping tip. And as you see, Colors of Madra Karanash already mix it and giving this beautiful seashell color. It really doesn't matter in which order you pipe those parts of the shell, just go with the color what you have. And now I'm gonna show you another type of seashell macaron. First, you're gonna pipe the round. Now using toothpick, We're gonna move one side and make those tips. Actually, use from this side. And this part can go from any sides you like.
And don't be afraid to move macaronage with a toothpick. That's all. I made two templates for you with the regular seashell size and the mini one. But I also want to show you what if you don't have this template. You're welcome to download and print it. It's free on my blog. But what if you don't have it? You can still pipe. All you have to do, just pipe one part, second, third, and the bottom. I'm using Wilton 4B. My seashell macaron shells baked. They cooled already. I removed them from the baking mat. And just look what we have. Just look at this color. Look at this color. And some of them I made just round one. And now we can fill them. I prepared vanilla bean sweet marine buttercream and I placed in a piping bag. And I'm using Wilton 4B piping tip. And I'm gonna fill. full recipe and printable template you can find on my blog. Happy baking!